how did you discover BitCloud? I discovered BitCloud because I am a little bit more plugged into the Bitcoin world. Okay. And mm. in the and I also listen to a lot of startup podcasts. Mm. One of the podcasts I listened to is called My First Million, and they oh. had a guest on that was they keep talking about BitCloud and all these early investors. Mm. Um, they use their they use their play money, the the extra money that they made from like selling a company to look at the trends in in the movement of human behavior. Okay. So the reason why they um, they make they made it big in some way or the other is by early investing into certain movements. And mm. one of the movements is definitely Bitcoin. Um, if you're an early investor in Bitcoin, you're doing pretty well mm. if you like held on to it. And um, and then what's interested me, they had a guest on one of their podcasts that he's like, I live BitCloud. I just do BitCloud. <laughs> and uh, and he had his mom sign up for BitCloud. He has his, he was trying, you know, his mom is not tech savvy, but like he was putting in all that effort to get more people onto the platform. And I think one of the revolutionary things about BitCloud is that before when someone's rising up, you usually have to choose to invest in um, in their company or in, in whatever they form. Mm, BitCloud right. is changing things to the point where you're now investing in the person itself. Right. So if you believe in a person, you can own stock in that individual. Yes. And it's a different layer than Patreon. Patreon is like there's a very uh, material exchange. Okay. If if you're if you subscribe to someone's Patreon, then they say that they will give you X stuff back mm -hmm. in exchange for that value. Right. So I think BitCloud is different than Patreon because um, you're just like putting in stock in that person, but there's no real like, hey, I'm I'm gonna give you. Uh, a piece of art or I'm going to right. give you this. It's like whoever owns more coins than me can have early access to, et cetera, or it's kind of up to them, but it's really, um, if you see someone up and coming and you believe in them as a human being, you can now own a piece of them. And um, social media has never been like, if there's a like or there's a heart or something like that, most of the time is you spending this social time giving someone social proof without me without winning monetarily from it and mm -hmm. i think BitCloud is changing things where um the time that you spend scrolling uh and the time that you spend doing things amounts to stuff and that's why um i think it's a similar movement to uh there's a company called 1729.com okay. And their, their whole thing is also like Bitcoin related, where uh, if you write an article, if you write a newsletter, they reward you with Bitcoin. Oh. And so your time, your time consuming and your time uh, contributing to the online space right. is now is now rewarded financially back to you, which oh. I think is interesting. Um, a different movement and yeah. I want to be part of that movement <laughs> yeah for yeah. sure this yeah. movement and you know I don't know if you realize uh, but but BitCloud is also growing it's going to be growing exponentially pretty soon it's already growing quite a bit but because of the uh, publication uh, open sourcing of the nodes and the front end and the explorer code there's lots of stuff there's still things need to be uh, released but they're releasing things slowly and and so that people have time to learn about the different things so that by the time all of it's out there's a big pool of people that are technically knowledgeable about it right so even I set up a node right to understand how the data works and all that stuff and it's really exciting to be part of that and uh and the and the thing that's that's super exciting about it is how you'll be able to see a whole bunch of websites around the world all using the BitCloud back end if you will of the blockchain to post content create content and curate what they what you see on their pages 